from the President of the United States to pro athletes. The fist bump is becoming a popular way to greet someone. We like it. It's, it's kind of cool. Texas Health Dallas Hospital encourages doctors and nurses to go for the fist bump. Not to be cool, but because it could limit the spread of bacteria. When you cough and sneeze, you're spreading those bacteria into your hands. Those bacteria go in your hands and then you touch the doorknob, uh, you go shake the person's hand. Uh, that's how things get spread. A new study in the American Journal of Infection Control shows the hospital is on the right track. In an experiment, researchers from Wales used sterile gloves dipped in bacteria to see what kind of hand greeting passed the most germs. They found handshakes spread twice the amount of bacteria compared to a fist bump. When you grab somebody's hand and, and shake their hand and grab it firm and hold it, you're going to transmit a lot more bacteria. While fist bumping may spread less bacteria, most hospitals have hand sanitizer within reach and recommend washing your hands frequently to kill germs. Experts hope more hospitals ban handshakes. It's going to be a little different, especially for our older population. They're going to be like, what is, you know, what is this? What is that? But adopting the new greeting may be key to preventing infections. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Dallas.